Mr. Speaker, thank you very much, and I thank the First Minister for bringing the matter to the House. Uh, Baroness Thatcher was a colossus, not just of politics, but of conviction politics. Of course, the Ulster Unionist Party would not have agreed with everything, particularly uh, signing the anglo irish Agreement, which gave undue control over our affairs uh, to a foreign nation. It is a matter of record that she was Prime Minister for well over a quarter of the time we call our troubles, and during her years as Prime Minister, over 1,000 people lost their lives as a direct result of the troubles. 1,062, uh, according to lost lives. And no doubt, Mr. Speaker, it would have been many, many, many more had it not been for her very unbending stance against terrorism. Northern Ireland has reason to be eternally grateful for that stance, not least during the hunger strikes when Northern Ireland was taken to the brink uh, of something catastrophic. I have already noted uh, with regret uh, the statement of absolute bitterness from the Sinn Féin President, uh, Gerry Adams, who said, and I'll repeat the members, quote, Mar Margaret Thatcher did great hurt to the Irish and British people during her time as Prime Minister. Working class communities were devastated. Republicans did great hurt to working class communities. You're responsible for the land share of the 1,062 murders during Mrs Thatcher's time as Prime Minister. Your statement also conveniently forgets how much Mrs Thatcher did for political freedom and for human rights, not least for the people of Eastern Europe. Yes, Mr McCartney, for the people of Eastern Europe and for the people of the Falklands, yeah. where she enforced the principle of consent. A matter I beg your pardon, Mr Speaker. She was rigid uh, in enforcing the principle of consent in the Falklands, no matter how few were affected, how far away it was, or or the cost to the country. Whatever you thought of her as a politician, she was a remarkable public servant who stood by her beliefs and courageously fought against the odds on the national European and the world stage. Her list of achievements is mighty. The UK's first female Prime Minister, leading her party to three successive election successes, transforming the economy, changing the British political system. The Ulster Unionist Party, Mr. Speaker, expresses its condolences to her children, her family, uh, and to her friends, and joins in so many in acknowledging her massive impact, her positive impact, not only on Northern Ireland or the UK, but on global politics. Yeah.